Good evening, Cleveland, and thank you for hosting. What a night. And Montana, you're in the house. You know, I'm honored to be sharing the stage with Senator Ernst and Jason Beardsley and all these distinguished veterans. What a circle of honor. I also proudly represent the great state of Montana and the first seal in the House of Representatives. And before I was elected to Congress, I spent 23 years as a Navy SEAL. I was a commander at SEAL Team 6. But what I'm most proud of is when I was growing up, my daughter was growing up, I told her two things. Don't join the Navy and don't marry a Navy SEAL. She ignored me, she did both. I'm so incredibly proud. I love you, Jennifer. So did you ever hear of a place called Gitmo? Let's just say I'm personally acquainted with many of those individuals experiencing those accommodations. And let me tell you, they need to stay there forever. Ever hear of Chris Kyle, Rob O'Neill, Glenn Doherty, Marcus Luttrell, and Ty Woods? I've had the privilege of working with these fine teammates and Americans. And I've mentored many more who names you'll never know. But as a SEAL, there's three factors that accomplish success. The first is teamwork. You need to know without a doubt, the guy behind you literally has your back. Secondly is training. We owe it to every troop in harm's way to make sure they have the right equipment, the right training, and the rules of engagement to win decisively in the field of battle. They deserve no less. And lastly, every SEAL, soldier, airman, and Marine knows never quit. Without teamwork, training, and never quitting successful missions, like the one that killed Osama bin Laden, aren't possible. And when we don't do things right in dangerous situations, bad things happen. In January, Army Green Beret Matthew McClintock lost his life in Afghanistan when his unit came under heavy Taliban fire. Commanders on the ground requested air support, but they received nothing. This tragedy represents the weakness we've come to expect from armchair quarterbacks like Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Senator Erst ably described the leadership failures. Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton both are responsible for these failures. For President Obama and Hillary Clinton, being popular is more important than being the commander-in-chief. President Obama and Hillary Clinton abandoned Iraq. President Obama and Hillary Clinton drew a red line in Syria and then refused to uphold it. President Obama and Hillary Clinton watched passively as China and Russia filled the international leadership vacuum that they created. President Obama reached a dangerous nuclear arms agreement with Iran, a country whose people and leaders tweet death to America. And Hillary Clinton remained largely silent. Our world knows this president is weak, and his anointed successor, the architect of Benghazi, is no better. Together, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton brought us ISIS and brought down Benghazi. I shudder to think how many times our flag will fly at half-mast if Hillary Clinton is in the Oval Office. You know, I've been to a lot of funerals, and too many funerals. Casualties, unfortunately, are inevitable in war. But the lives of Sergeant McClintock and four Americans of Benghazi could have been saved with leadership in the White House. 
Donald J. Trump is not afraid to talk about radical Islamic terrorism. And I can guarantee you, if we go to war, we're going to go to war to win. We need a commander-in-chief who will support our troops rather than abandon them in Benghazi. We need a commander-in-chief that will put our veterans in front of the line rather than letting them die while waiting for health care. And we need a commander-in-chief that will stand with Israel rather than fund Iranian rockets that attack Israel. America, it is time to rally. It is time to rally the troops. It is time to rally around our candidate. It is time to rally around Donald Trump, who will make America safe again. Thank you. God bless America. Good night. And God bless all our troops, men and women who defend her. Montana, I love you.